Hello friends, this video on Y molecules part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about classification of carbohydrates. We just have learned the definition of carbohydrates that is optically active polyhydroxy compound which has aldehydes or ketone groups. Now let's understand the classification of carbohydrates on the basis of their behavior on hydrolysis. This is the water and the behavior of water on hydrolysis helps us to classify carbohydrates into three different categories. The one is the monosaccharides. The one is the next is the oligosaccharides. In oligosaccharides, we have disaccharides, trisaccharides, tetrasaccharides, till decasaccharides. And then we have polysaccharides. Mono means one, which cannot be further broken by hydrolysis. Oligo means few. We'll talk about these in detail where it can be broken into few means 2 to 10 so if it is 2 it is called di because di means 2 if it is 3 it, if it is broken into 3 different uh, uh, carb units it is called trisaccharides tetrasaccharides and it goes on to decasaccharides if it is broken into 10 units and if it is broken into more than 10 units we call it polysaccharides we will talk about these things in detail and it's all on the basis of behavior of hydrolysis this is water this powerful water which can break the carbohydrates and based on the action we classify the carbohydrates as monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Let's start with monosaccharides. So what are monosaccharides? So the definition says the carbohydrates which cannot be further hydrolyzed. You see these are carbohydrates which cannot be further hydrolyzed to give smaller unit of aldehydes or ketones they are called monosaccharides for example fructose if you try to hydrolyze it nothing will happen it's the smallest unit glucose ribose erythrose glyceraldehyde all these are monosaccharides why because they cannot be hydrolyzed further and that's why the name came mono means one that is one saccharide one unit right one unit of saccharide that is called monosaccharide please note glucose is a monosaccharide glucose is a monosaccharide and that's why this is the smallest unit easy to break and that's why when you fall ill or when you are tired you take glucose so the body need not digest it you can just consume it and you get the energy instant energy instant energy drink is glucose. Why? Because glucose is a monosaccharide and this is nothing but an energy source in our body. So instead of taking a polysaccharide or disaccharide and then the body breaking it using enzymes and the digestive system breaking it, you directly take glucose and you get energy. So glucose is an instant drink. Correct? So that's why you remember glucose is a monosaccharide because glucose is an instant energy drink. So the name is monosaccharide, that means one unit of saccharide, that is a carbohydrate or a saccharide which cannot be hydrolyzed further. Right? And there are 20 monosaccharides that are known to nature. Only 20. Please note, there are almost 20, not many. There are 20 monosaccharides that are known to nature. If you see this nature, in this nature, there are almost 20 monosaccharides. The next is oligosaccharide. Oligo word means few. So they generally on a hydrolysis gives 2 to 10 units of monosaccharides. So if you see the carbohydrate that yields 2 to 10 because few is 2 to 10. If a carbohydrate on hydrolysis gives you 2 to 10 units of monosaccharides that is a oligosaccharides. And oligosaccharides as I told are further classified as disaccharides, trisaccharides, tetrasaccharides like that. And disaccharide is the most important one because there are a lot of disaccharides that are important in our life. And these are all based on the number of monosaccharides you get. For example, disaccharides on hydrolysis will give you two monosaccharides. Trisaccharides will give you three monosaccharides on hydrolysis. Tetrasaccharides will give you a four monosaccharides on hydrolysis. Similarly, decasaccharide will give ten monosaccharides on hydrolysis correct 
the most common as i told is disaccharide the example is lactose this lactose is a disaccharide why see if you take this lactose and if you do a hydrolysis with water if you see and also enzyme using lactase the enzyme so what you will see the output is galactose and glucose and if you see this is a monosaccharide and this is also a monosaccharide so there are two monosaccharides which are formed when you hydrolyze a disaccharide and please note there can be scenario where these two monosaccharides are same and there can be scenario where these two monosaccharides are different for example here itself these two monosaccharides which i am getting by hydrolysis of lactase is all different so if you are confused with this lactase galactase glucose hold on with the structure we'll discuss all these things in detail we'll discuss about the lactose we'll discuss about lactase also we'll talk about glucose structure we'll talk about d glucose why it is d there are two type of glucose actually d glucose and l glucose we'll talk about these things later just understand the concepts now there is something called monosaccharides which cannot be hydrolyzed with water there is something called oligosaccharides which on hydrolysis gives 2 to 10 units of monosaccharides and if you see these two and if you see this, this lactose is a disaccharide which is nothing but there are two monosaccharides joined with a bond this is a bond which joins two monosaccharides so we'll discuss about these things in the next few slides the next type of saccharide as i told was polysaccharide so poly means many poly word means many that is more than 10 at least so the carbohydrates which on hydrolysis gives you a large number of monosaccharides that is called that carbohydrate is called polysaccharides for example starch cellulose glycosam gums we'll discuss about these things in detail just understand this, this is starch what is starch we'll discuss this in uh, next few slides this is the starch which is made up of n number of monosaccharides and if you do a hydrolysis you'll get all these monosaccharides individually here also this is the cellulose which is made by n number of polysac uh, monosaccharides combined with this bond correct and when you do a hydrolysis all these bonds will break and you'll get different units of monosaccharide and please note these polysaccharides are not sweet in taste and they are called non-sugar please note these polysaccharides are not sweet in taste and that's why they are called non-sugars cellulose is nothing but wood actually do you think wood tastes sweet no starch also doesn't taste sweet that's um, if you take rice boil it you get starch from that we'll discuss about starch and cellulose in detail just understand that the polysaccharides are non-sweet they are non-sugar but they still have this word saccharide that means sugar but actually they are non-sweet they are not sweet in taste thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again